So I wanted to do this video about how I wash my pieces. As most of you may know, my pieces are my wigs. This is a wig right here. This is actually my birthday wig. Um, I got this wig on my birthday and I just love it. I love how natural it looks. I always like to get natural wigs because I just don't want the wig to look like a wig. I want it to look like my hair. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I wash this. This wig actually got wet, like it got stuck in the rain. Long story. <laughs> and the wig got wet. So um, I wanted to just like wash it and to show you guys how I, um, how that process works when I'm washing my wigs and stuff like that. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is a close up of the wig. This is how the front looks. There is actually an invisible part here. Hold on, I gotta pull some of the hair back. Can you guys see that? Uh, yeah, there's the invisible part right there. It's a little bit more like underneath here too, like right here. And then this is the hair. Like I love, love, love this hair. But as you can see, it's kind of just like afro-y and I love the texture. Um, but the curls can be a little bit more defined. And um, right back here, um, it's a little tangled. So I just wanna, you know, get that a little bit more um, untangled <laughs> and um, washing it will definitely help that so I want to show you guys the products that I use on my wigs and we'll go from there so let's get this thing back how it's supposed to be okay so first I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler leave-in treatment as a detangler I like to detangle before I wash to get out all the kinks and knots and to make the washing process easier So now I'm using a wide tooth comb to detangle. So now it's all detangled and ready for the washing process. Rinsing out the detangled product. Okay, so for washing, I'm going to use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. Okay, so I just put a decent amount in my hand and start washing. You can use as much shampoo as you need. And don't forget to wash the cap part right here. That needs to be cleaned as well. to use Aunt Jackie's In Control Moisturizing and Softening Conditioner. I use about that much. And I'm just going to rub it all over the wig. Now 
Now I'm just going to finger comb the conditioner throughout the hair. Now time to rinse. I'm using a shirt to dry the hair to prevent a lot of frizz. either let your wig air dry or you can use a blow dryer. I like to use a blow dryer on medium heat. This is the wig all dry and washed. As you can see the curls are more defined and also back here where it was or tangled it's now untangled and the curls are there again. Um, it's a little frizzy up here at the top. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this Design Essentials Natural Curl Enhancing Mousse. I don't want to put too much on there, just a little bit. To finish it off with this oil-free wig shine spray. This stuff smells so good. more defined um, it's not as like poofy as it was before even though I do like that look don't get me wrong but sometimes your wigs need a little bit of TLC they need to be washed <laughs> especially if you put product in it and for me I like to wash my wigs with the products that I would wash my regular hair with um, just because it makes the hair, like it like makes it look new again. I mean, the curls are definitely more defined as you can see and it has more volume again and it's not tangled in the back. I am gonna list all the products that I use in the description box and I'm gonna also list the uh, wig that this is in the description box as well. Let me know if you guys wash your wigs. Let me know um, if you do wash your wigs, what kind of products that you use, and if you use the same products that you use in your hair like I do. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, Joy Riders, love you lots.